Hello everyone. Hope all of you guys are doing pretty well. Right? Okay. So, are you guys are ready to learn something new in Oracle Identity Manager? Hmm? Okay. So, let me reveal the topic for today's discussion. So, today we are going to discuss about connectors in Oracle Identity Manager. So, as I discussed with you in my earlier slides, that uh, connectors act as a translator between OIM and different target system. Connector provides the channel for communication, right? So, today I am going to integrate Oracle Identity Manager with a directory server. So, before we integrate some platform or some system with Oracle Identity Manager, we must be aware about the basic of the platform, right? Because uh, if we are clear about both the system, then it's easy for us to understand the entire architecture of integration, right? In addition to this, it also gives us a flexibility or it's there's a knowledge base which is behind you. Let's say if you stuck in some during uh, during the integration you stuck at some point so if you are good about both the target system then it's pretty easy for you in order to sort out the issue right okay so if you are not aware about the directory server then i must recommend you to watch my previous video for at least five to six minutes you can click on the link which is displaying over above the video okay so let's get started so basically connectors are of three different types predefined generic and custom so today we are going to install or we are going to configure a predefined connector a predefined connector is defined or it is designed specifically for a target application let's say for a corporate directory, for a Unix server, for PeopleSoft, for Oracle eBusiness Suite, for all these target systems, Oracle already has a predefined connector bundle which you can utilize. Okay? So, I think some of you guys are still confused why we have to install the connector. Okay. So, let me go back to the big picture. As you can see, or if you remember, well, then HR is going to create the user in the HRMS system. Now, from HR system, it's completely different platform. Oracle Identity Manager is completely different platform. Using IT resource, we know how the Oracle Identity Manager will reach the HRMS system. But using connectors, we know or we will make OIM understand that boss in order to instruct something to HR system, in order to feed some data to HR system, there should be some medium which will help OIM in order to talk, right? That particular medium is called connector. So basically, I am going to move the data from OIM to target system. I am not reconciling. I am going to move the data. I am going to propagate the data or I am going to feed the data to a corporate directory server from OIM. Right? Okay. So I think or I hope that uh, it's clear for you that why we are going to use connectors or what are the importance of connectors in Oracle Identity Manager. So are you guys following me? Okay. So today we are going to use predefined connector. So there are few high level steps which we need to follow during the installation or during the entire connector life cycle. So first we need to download the connector bundle. So as I am going to use a predefined connector, you can easily find the connector bundle already mentioned or you can download it from the Oracle website. Once you download the bundle, you need to install the connector. Once the connector installation is done, OIM is in a position that OIM have a translator with him who will help OIM in order to communicate, in order to instruct to the target system that 
what are all the operations which OIM want to perform on the target system. Now, how the target system, how OIM will aware about the target system? Yes, you are right. We need to configure the IT resource. In order to reach the target system, we are configuring the IT resource, right? Just uh, think about the big picture. Or if you are still some doubt, then I recommend you to go to my first video and watch the entire theory part where I have explained everything in a layman term. Now, once the IT resource has been configured, we need to create an application instance. Right, so that uh, OIM will able to provision a user to the target system using the help of application instance. Now, once the application instance creation will be done, we are going to schedule some job. So, I will come back to this part in later point of time. Once the schedule job has been done, we are going to validate that the entire integration works perfectly fine or not. Hope guys, I am making some sense for you, right? Okay. So, let's start the practical. Or let's continue with the practical. That how we are going to perform all these steps. So, first, we need to download the connector bundle. So, let me open my virtual machine. So, here, I have already downloaded the software. Which is going to be used for the which is going to be used for the connector so as you can see I have already downloaded a Oracle identity directory server or Oracle internet directory server connector which is nothing but a LDAP server connector so before I going to continue let me just show you how you can configure all these things okay let me I have opened the sysadmin console in order to install the connector, what you need to follow, you need to click on manage connector in the system admin console. Click on manage connector. Now click on install. As you can see in the connector list, I am only able to see only one connector that is database application tables. So as of now, there is no connector in place. So we need to install the directory server connector. Hope I am making some sense for you guys, right? right? Okay. So there is a specific directory which is holding all the connectors for OIM. So first let me unzip this connector file. Let me unzip it. As you can see, I have already unzipped. If you see here, I have a connector file with me. Now you need to place this connector file into the specified directory which OIM will recognize. So that directory is, let me just move entire folder to there. So in order to do so, the specified directory is, you have to navigate to the middleware, then the identity manager home then you need to navigate to the server once you reach the server you will be able to see a connector default directory i have copied the file let me just simply go over there and let me cross verify that the copy has been done successfully or not as you can see i have placed the folder over here now let me go to the sysadmin console once again let me simply refresh it. Let me close it once again. Let me click on manage connector once again. Click on install. Now as you can see, now I have a lot of options, right? Now I am going to configure OUD with Oracle Identity Manager. So my target is Oracle Identity Manager. Using this particular bundle, you can either install OID connector which is nothing but Oracle Internet Directory or you can configure using uh, Oracle Unified Directory or Novel E Directory connector. So I am going to use ODSEE. Now click on continue.
click on first you need to click on load as you can see there is no prior installation and we are going to install this particular connector for OIM now click on next or continue now the installation is in progress okay hope guys I am making some sense for you right so here we are going to install the predefined connector which is going to help OIM in order to communicate with directory servers okay let it install so I am pausing my video and I will get back to you once this installation will finish okay so as you can see here that the connector installation has been successful now it is asking us to follow some steps the steps are like uh, the system or the OIM is saying that please configure the IT resource and then please configure the schedule jobs and all these things right so I'm not going to do nothing right now just simply click on exist click on exit okay now we need to check whether the installation is successful or not in order to do so open design console so let me navigate to my virtual machine once again open the design console click on continue I want to keep the old password simply click on close ok now here click on the development tools I will make a separate video on all these things that uh, what are all the features or what are all the configurations which you can perform using the design console in my later videos click on form designer search for LDAP as you can see I have a form created for LDAP user now what this form is as you can see a form created with a lot of tables child tables permissions and all these stuff right what are all these things which are displayed over here so let me tell you what are all these things this form designer is nothing it's a process form okay basically a process form is used to feed the data to the target system let's say you are new to Facebook right so first you need to do a sign up process right when you are going to follow up the sign up process the Facebook server is going to ask you to fill up a form why he is going to ask you to fill up form because that form will be feed it into the database right so that in further time when you are trying to log in you will that information will be matched like your user ID your password all these things similarly a process form is the set of data which Oracle identity manager is going to feed into the target system for us into the directory server hope I am making some sense here right is it clear for you okay so this is the process form now there is one more technology or one more terminology which is referred as process definition so click on process management click on process definition here I am going to search same as LDAP let me search it click on LDAP user okay 
Now, if you can see, these are all the tasks. As I have already discussed, that is a process definition. It contains a set of tasks which combine together referred as provisioning. Are you getting my point? Okay, let me tell you. Let's say I have a form over there. In the process form, you have seen that there are lots of fields. That fields needs to be propagated to the target system. How you are going to update those fields when there is any updation done in OIM? For that, we have designed some set of tasks which will update the things over the server to the target system. Like whenever there is a change in the user ID, the user ID will be updated. How it is going to be updated? There is a Java adapter or the Java form or Java program is there which is going to fetch the data from OIM and it is going to feed the data to target system. Hope I am making some sense for you guys. So a process definition will contain a set of tasks. If you can see, these are all the set of tasks. Now as I discussed with you earlier that there is something called a reconciliation, right? Or Let's say in OIM the user ID is uh, user ID there is a field called uh, middle name. Now in the target system it is not necessary that that field is also named as middle uh, middle name, right? So we should have some sort of what to say? We should have some sort of mapping which will help the OIM. It, when OIM is going to feed the data, it will automatically map that this data should be feeded to this particular field in the target system. So if you want to see that, just click on the source management, click on the source object. Let me search once again LDAP. LDAP user. Click on object reconciliation. So these are all the fields which are defined for the target system. Now, if you want to see the mapping, again come back to the process definition. Now, if you will see that common name is mapped with this particular attribute in OIM. Similarly, first name will mapped with this. Location is mapped with this. In this way, the mapping is done. Right? Okay, so hope guys I am making some sense for you. So I am going to end up here. If you guys have any difficulty in understanding anything so far, please comment, please comment, comment, comment. As this is one of the most important topic in Oracle Identity Manager. So if everything is clear for you, then please like the video so that I am going to prepare the next version of this particular video and I am going to continue from this point only. So thanks for watching it.